It's a 1934 Massey Harris 1220 Orchard. And according to the, I guess the expert on Massey Harris is it's the only one that's in running condition in the world. There's only seven of them that are known to exist by the serial numbers. The other six are mostly just rusty hulk sitting in a junk pile or something. So it's quite a rare tractor. Potentially 150 of them were ever made, but they have no evidence that they ever made all of them. They, they had 150 serial numbers set aside for them. But anyway, this was bought brand new by my grandfather in 1934 and given to my father to run the family farm, the Fred Kellum Orchard, or it was Dr. Harold, Harold Kellum's originally. And that was the only tractor my father ever used. Okay, another little detail. Um, this engine runs on, it starts on gasoline and then runs on kerosene, which was quite typical of vehicles back in those days because apparently gasoline was about 10 times more expensive than kerosene. So even though the kerosene had less power, less energy per gallon, it was still way cheaper to run on kerosene. So you would start it on gas and after it warmed up, you would turn the gas off, turn the kerosene on and it would switch over. And then you'd work your day on kerosene. At the end of the day, you turn the kerosene off, turn the gas back on and let it rinse the system out so that it would start the next day again. The fenders are replicas made in uh, Indiana. The hood I made myself, although I have the original and it is still serviceable. I may put it back on someday. But that's the tractor. It ran from 1934 until I think 1980 or so that it kind of got retired and then I got it a few years after that and spent 15 years restoring it. So it's only been out of preservation now for three years, I think. Another feature and what makes this kind of unique as an orchard tractor is the fender skirts, which are intended to keep tree branches from getting caught in the wheel spokes. And also the front wheels are disced. They have a, a metal disc for the same purpose so that the the branches won't get caught in the wheel spokes. If you look at the opposite side wheel, you can see the spokes inside on a standard tractor. Those spokes would just be bare open, but on the orchard they disc the, disc the wheels to keep the branches out, out of the wheels. They also put a short air intake on a standard tractor that would be probably a foot taller. And also there's almost no exhaust system, there's just a little spout sticking out on the side where on a standard tractor the exhaust would go straight up and it was about a three foot stack so that when you were driving the exhaust was blowing up over your head and it was in your face. Also a universal joint in the steering column to drop the wheel down so that you had a lower profile going through the orchard. Also the seat is mounted lower and the rear step on a standard tractor this would be level with this point. So on the orchard, they dropped the step down about six inches to, again, give you a little lower profile as you went through the orchard.